these orchids grow uh, in Vietnam and also in uh, the Hainan province of China and uh, they sit on tree branches with the roots exposed and uh, they collect water from the air mainly from the morning mist the body of the orchid is uh, kind of ugly but the flower is the best highly desirable and so uh, the orchids are kept in greenhouses and uh, basically are used as flower machines there are all kinds of flowers uh, obtainable in all kinds of shapes and colors whereas the original orchid flower is mainly blue in this way uh, you could say that the orchid just like uh, many other uh, animals and plant species uh, is uh, manipulated into a uh, existence which is no longer natural so uh, what they do with the life support systems project is to push uh, an orchid completely over the border into the realm of the artificial the orchid inside the faraday cage is uh, connected to a bioamplifier and the data logger is uh, capturing a signal which is called the extracellular biopotential Unlike some uh, funny projects in the past, a plant does not have a voice, does not think, does not have emotions, that we know of anyway. And in my opinion, a plant expresses itself through growing. The extracellular biopotential of a plant, when captured over time, gives a representation of uh, the growth progress of that particular plant. And so, when the plant dies, the signal that remains can be seen as a kind of imprint of that plant's individual character. The life support systems installation is a sort of lab where I capture the extracellular biopotential from one orchid and train a statistical model inside a computer with the signal. So there is now something inside the computer, a primitive kind of entity, which speaks in the form of a one-dimensional signal, similar to the signal of the orchid. This uh, entity is uh, stored inside the Xbox. The Xbox is uh, hacked to act as a simple FTP server. In the beginning, uh, it was simply a cheap way to store data, but more importantly, it acts as a sort of timestamp on the project. It plans the project in the year 2005, which can be seen in relation to a projected date of 2040, when uh, supposedly we can uh, scan and capture our brains inside a computer. Possibly at that time, an artificial brain from 2040 can interact inside the computer 
with an artificial orchid from 2005.